Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this, I'm going to be using this scribe needle or dotting tool that I made a long time ago, years ago. I do have the DIY. I'm going to link it below. I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys the DIY. Is that all? But despite of the quality of the video, I really like using this tool. I, I think it's really handy and it's actually really easy to make. Feel free to check it out if you want to know how to make your own DIY. But keep in mind, it's a really old DIY. It's one of my first ones, I believe. And my nail look really bad in that one i didn't really used to care for my nails at all back then or you know feel free to buy one they sell them all over the place i'm going to be first painting this with white acrylic paint giving this two coats is because i want the next color which is my fuchsia color to pop a lot more and i do have the diy for this fuchsia color by the way i just made it giving this two to three coats then i printed this six bees I have this template on my blog, it's gonna be linked below. This is the, just an image of like a bee, the Barbie bee, and I'm gonna be cutting those bees using my exacto knife first. And yeah, just taking my time cutting all the bits on the insides of those bees. I tried cutting them with my scissors and it was like a huge struggle because of the like miniature spaces. So I would recommend you to use an exacto knife and just be really careful while using it. Then I'm going to go with my scissors and just cut the outside. So I'm going to be painting those bees. Three of them, I'm going to be painting them white. And for the other three, I'm going to be making a lighter shade of my fuchsia. So I'm going to be mixing my fuchsia with some white and painting them using this tiny detail brush and the dotting tool that I'm working on right now to just help myself paint those bees because I tell you it's real handy it's one of those real handy tools to have gluing my letters to my my scribe tool using this brush that I do have the DIY showing you how to make this is actually really easy and some like white glue like regular glue I'm gonna be adding a coat of that for this side I placed two pinks and one white you don't want to add a lot of glue it's because it's gonna be all slippery and you want it to be like sticky right away so your bees don't move around a lot gluing them and yeah just making sure all the edges are just like super glued in there yeah i just don't want anything to be like sticking out because with the glue it's gonna dry like that like sticking out and that is gonna be really annoying once i start using the tool because it's gonna be like in the way you know what i mean then i'm gonna be adding another coat of glue on top of that just to make sure everything is just glued in place for my other side gluing two bees but for this i just helped uh shape the bees with my fingers to make it to the shape of my tool just so that it was easier to glue so i'm just gonna taking this other bee and i'm gonna be cutting this in half the top white part i'm gonna be gluing this at the bottom of my tool bottom pink part is gonna be glued on top that is because i'm following a pattern in here then i'm gonna be adding some gloves using my spray gloves wearing my gloves working outside I added two three coats of this one if you have one of those epoxies those that you mix equal parts i think with that one it's gonna be looking a lot nicer like smoother like everything was printed you know what i mean because with this one yes it's glossy but i can still see the like the cutouts but i really like it anyways and i just want to share with you this DIY because this is the one that i'm going to be using but yeah hopefully you like this as much as i did if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up and share this check out other tools that i've done and subscribe for more and share this thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye